but uh, good performance for him. Um, I spoke to Barry McGuigan. Um, I spoke to Barry McGuigan after the fight. He said, "Listen, great performance. Maybe could have got him out a lot quicker, but you know what? It's great experience for him, and he's done what he needs to do for this fight." You know what? He couldn't. The fight couldn't have turned out a better, any better way. Uh, the fights went enough rounds for him to think how far and where we would be in around that round nine. That as a, as the rounds roll on. He still looked in control at points where he stepped up the pace and, and let a flurry of shots go. He didn't gas himself out, calmed down a little bit, um, calmed down a little bit as the rounds rolled on, but then still controlled the pace. I think it was a completely controlled performance. I do want to quickly move away before you've got to do other stuff, but um, I want to talk about Fury Music finally got made. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you your opinion. Would you take into consideration Tyson's performance against Angonu? Um, Going into this fight, or is this a clean slate? Is this a big fight? Different motivation levels. I repeat what I've said before. I don't believe Tyson Fury trained, uh, prepared himself uh, how he should have done for the Ngannou fight. So I think that was an underperformance because of how he prepared for it. If he's doing, if he, if we're to believe what he said, and he said he trained hard, he did everything right, then then I'd worry about the fight against the Usyk. But in reality, I don't think he did. I think he, he completely dismissed Ngannou, like we all did. So he made a fundamental mistake. So, so then it comes to the, to the fight itself. I think I expect Tyson Fury to, to be too big, um, um, too unorthodox, as unorthodox uh, for for Alexander Usyk as the Usyk is for everybody else. But the size will make a massive difference. And so uh, Tyson's um, controlled performance should be enough to to, to take care of Alexander Usyk, in my opinion. Obviously, on Talksport, a lot was made about your, your remark saying that you know his legs had possibly yeah. gone. I spoke to John Fury about that. He said, "Listen, well, these man, these people don't really know much about what's going on." I know what I'm talking about, and what I'm saying to you is, Tyson was chatting shit when he was saying, "I did everything that I trained really hard." He wasn't, and and his dad knows that, and Tyson knows. They all know that. So when this man's saying this, they can't pull it out because I'm thinking, well, you're only leaving us to one assumption. If you train really hard like you do, we've seen your performances, we've seen you on top form. So don't tell me you've trained like you did like when you did get it against Wilder or XYZ, mentally as well as physically, and you perform like that. Because that's the only answer your league was with. So just fess up and say, you know what, all right, all right. I, I underestimated him. I, I didn't put, all, put 100% in the performance, which is why that's happened. That's why it happened. So I'm basically giving him, giving him an out to say, yo, that's bullshit you chat and you didn't perform, uh, prepare how you, as you should, should have done. So, so I am not believing he prepared how he should have done. We're, and if we do believe him, that means his legs have gone. So I'm putting clarity and understanding to why I say his legs have gone. It's either one or the other. You're either lying or your legs have gone. You understand? There's no, there's no in between. And that's where it came from. And that's why if it's explained properly, people say, well, right, well fair dudes, yeah, you got a point. Final one, uh, I want to talk about Wilder and Park fight. A lot of people are talking about, look, Wilder's not been in the ring for long. You know, last time he fought, he got the guy out in one round. A lot of inactivity, but whilst Joseph Park has been fighting good level opposition, mm -hmm. could this be, could, the, could you see an upset in this one? You know, we don't know where, where um, uh, Wilder is now as a fighter because of, of the, the inactivity, rounds of inactivity. So we don't know where he is. So, so on the Wilder we know, the Wilder we expect, uh, he's always got that TNT, he's always got that punch, that bang, that snap. I think Wilder this week went up in my estimations in regards to how he conducted himself completely. He outshone everybody. Outshone everybody, and, and usually he's the guy that you think, oh, come on, man. Outshone everybody, humble, um, um, respectful, but but forceful, and understanding who he was. I think him against Park is a, is a good fight, but but in reality, I think if Wilder's a guy that we still think he is, that punch ability, that punch power, will be hellfire. I don't think he's a better technical boxer than Parker, but we've seen him with other fighters that he's not being technically better than, but he's knocked him out. I think the same thing happens again. John Nelson, always a pleasure. Talk to yourself. Thank you so much for giving me your time. Awesome.